Hey there, and welcome back to Cursed Seeds, an educational monster train series where we struggle through the toughest challenges around. Now I know what you're thinking, you see four wins on the right, but this is supposedly a pretty cursed seed, or as far as I've been told. It's a soul guard run, okay, but it starts with dregs, which immediately kind of puts it into an awkward position. And the submitter said they scraped by the divinity with just one health remaining, and they believe that there has to be some kind of way to clean this up. They didn't hit anything they described it throughout the entire run, and felt like they're, uh, they just felt it was really cursed throughout. So obviously they still won, so I don't think this can be considered the worst Soul Guard run ever, but I do look at this clan combo and see a lot of requests asking me to explain how to navigate it, because it is one of the classically cursed combos. You have a forced incant champion, something that requires you to cast spells, but the starter spells on this champion cause you to discard other cards, right? And then you have a non-spell starter. So the real challenge here is you just can't incant very well. And if you don't see good units to complement whatever you're shown, like I'm thinking Tycoon, Lady of the Reformed, things like that, maybe Guardian Stone, not Guardian Stone, Guard of the Unnamed, the you know, Armor Shark, Beefy Shark, then you, you see those kinds of units, you have no offensive line, how do you even pull this out? And sometimes it's pretty nightmarish. So I'm going to play it. Also, I'm lazy, and this was the most recently submitted challenge, and I have not updated my list yet, and therefore I'm just going to run it to make sure it never goes into my list. So today, submitter, you are lucky. I run your seed almost half immediately after you submit it. But that's about as much as I'm going to say there. So the idea of this series, in case you're just joining us for the first time, is that viewers are submitting their runs to me, whether they be cursed or blessed. If you're playing Covenant 25 with no mutators and you feel like you had a really hard time with a run, or you feel like a run was a super breeze, you are just you just had a blast just crushing everything. Either way, you can generate that run link. Looks kind of like this three-word combo up here at the top. And you can send it my way via you know, my Discord server. You can send it to me in the YouTube comment, Reddit. I've gotten it all over the place. So however you feel like getting it to me, I will make my darndest attempt to play it on the channel and hopefully bring you a win. We're currently on a 24 win streak on this particular series. We had an incredibly weak offensive scaling burnout rector plus shattered shell line where I ended up noticing a very weird line that was an intrinsic spell chain purifying cleanse and then infusing that shattered gel I mentioned with a draft in ring two. This was curious because it meant that my entire early game was ridiculously high shards for how weak we were and I was using things like burnout rector to offset that and hopefully scaling for relentless we did end up finding a pretty competent kind of money generation line in there as well and use that to power us up. Eventually, our offensive scaling came in the form of unbelievably large stone coupled with adaptive mutation. So, you know, it was a really off the wall run. I think it looked a lot cleaner when I played it. But in truth, definitely very cursed. I think it's easy to miss the line that gets you enough offensive scaling there to win because you're not shown much. It's like adaptive mutation and root seeds, and that's actually it, which is pretty terrible. So that is our previous run. I think that's everything I've got for you in this here intro. So as always, do like, comment, and subscribe. We crossed 1.9k. If it were up to me, if I could hit 2k by the end of the year, that would be perhaps the big dream. It's not a huge deal, right? I mean, I'm not doing this for money or anything. It's just kind of like a personal milestone. Hopefully my content is cool or whatever. But whatever, we'll leave it at that. So yeah, let's go ahead and play this. Yeah, Soul Guard. He's still my favorite champion, despite the fact that he is a struggle sometimes. I just, I think it's because he looks so cool, and I love the whole, I love the Eldritch Abomination vibe that you get, like, kind of with him. He's very, he's like a doomed mage or something that looks like he's been infected by 
some aberrant nightmare from beyond. And it just looks cool, right? I'm just all for it. Anyway, hope you're all doing well today. Yeah, not much to do. I had to I had to back up my my hard drive this morning, so I'm actually recording a little later than I wanted. It's 10.30 a.m. Wow, it's fortunate. It's Saturday. I do have to record a few episodes today, but yeah, I had to back up my hard drive because I was running out of space due to all these recordings, so I had to put all of them onto a, an external, and well, the transfer time takes a while. I'm moving terabytes of data, so... That was a little fun, but we are past it. We've got it, I have space again. I'm not gonna run out in the middle of this video and have it cut off and that would be very sad. Anyway, that's it, let's play this run. We are XL Stygian Default Melting, a classically cursed combo. We are facing Plating Seal Daedalus, Spell Shield Fell, and Diligent Seraph with Offering Token, Dripfall, and Titan's Tooth. Okay, these are good spells, actually. Titan's Tooth plays nicely with our Foregone Power. Offering Token complements it well in addition. It's a good backline thing if we end up going that route. So sure. Most importantly, it's diligent, but they're all spells anyway, and they're playable. Dripfall is great for interruption. I'm a huge fan. Honestly, seems good. Now, unfortunately... Cold Channel is a little tough here, unless we're shown some ridiculous, I don't know, Purifying Cleanse nonsense, or Reforms, but Reforms aren't great because you lose the Shard. I think if Shard were permanent, then this would be a lot more, you know, reasonable, but unfortunately it's not. So we can't really do the Reform line. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, that's okay. I don't hate those starting cards, at least. I could definitely have imagined worse. It could have been something like Draft mollusk mage and i don't know cuddle hex and that would have been probably the worst possible start imaginable anyway no one died so we don't have to look for it but everyone struggled let's see temple time temples are on two three four and seven that's fine i'm always scared when you see the early three temples because it means you could get all of the rest being useless, but we at least see one in the late game, it's something. This means we don't have to go ham on shards early, which I appreciate. On eight, our dupe is on steel side. It's unremarkable, but it's fine. We have a good steel shop on seven with vortex and caverns. I do like that. Some options for shops. There are some magic shops along the way. Six has a, an okay trinket shop. Pyre Remains, Vortex. I mean, this is good, but I usually value different nodes with Trinket Shops. Money, other hordes, caverns are still fine too. Because if I'm going to a Trinket Shop, I have the, I, I want to have the cash, and little bits that push me up can be very valuable. The Magic Shop here is okay. It has the caverns and money with magic. Okay, sure. Removal Dupe, Horde on 5 is huge value if I can take advantage of it. I sure would like to. Steel Shop if I need it. Steel Shop on 4, it's okay. Magic Shop on 4 is pretty good, has a Remnant Banner. Let's see, early game banner situation. Forced Remnant Banner, don't love to see that. And then a Stygian Banner on 3. Interesting. I mean, the thing is, is Soul Guard, if I see Titan Channel, is a good champion, okay? And if I see Titan Channel, I want to play into Incants, if I can find them. A starting Remnant Banner, not very promising. I'm going to be taking any unit drafts we get shown. I'm going to be going to that Stygian Banner, probably. Now, we could see something like Cold Channel, Dire Channel here, which is pretty nightmare. In that case, we take Cold Channel, hopefully get through the early game, and then give up on Soul Guard and create some other floor. Alternatively, maybe we high roll off one of these Remnant Banners, or this, I guess, the only one, and see something functional there. I doubt it, though. It's a Curse Seed, right? Oh, I mean, the choice here is clear to me. Conscription Notice cleans up this early game no matter what we're shown. Yeah, absolutely. We snap click that, I think. Tethys Scales is good here, by the way. Don't let me knock it down. It's solid. It scales better into the late game for sure. But Conscription Notice gives us a lot of power right now. That lets me feel a lot more confident. So I'm going to click that. That is enough power for me to take this horde, regardless of which champion I see. We do see both, actually. I'm going to take Titan Channel. It's stronger now, and I think it's stronger later as well with this clan combo. It's a pretty good start. I can actually comfortably take this horde. 
lost luggage, vapor funnel, or pyre wall. These are all good relics in their own way. Lost luggage is almost certainly the strongest play for the late game. We can burn the dregs early and then our redraws are very clean. I like that a lot. Pyrewall is more early game strength. I don't think I need Pyrewall because of conscription notice. Uh, Vapor Funnel does mean I can kind of ignore backlines a little, but this clan combo does deal with them pretty okay, especially with a Titan's Tooth and our starter. I think I'm going to take the Lost Luggage here. I think it is the biggest play that goes into the late game better, and I think that it just helps. We eat whatever damage comes out of this trial. We can make it thanks to the fact that I have a banner unit. This armor trial, by the way, very scary with 15 shards. You might look at this and go, I can't take it. But thanks in large part to Conscription Notice plus Soul Guard on Titan Channel, I feel very okay with it. Now, remember, 10 cards in hand, I need to... If I play Soul Guard, I go to 9, I can get the card back. Yeah, it's actually fine. This is only a problem if you have a, a you champion that generates additional cards in addition to Conscription Notice. We're still just going to drop the drag middle first. This gives me my thing. Yeah, I mean, this Animus of Will just full cleans it up. We just incant now. Honestly, I'm going to incant past this. I get three Ember here. I'm not going to Drip Fall anything. I mean, I guess I could. I could Train Steward, Drip it, Train Steward. It's pretty okay. And then I bring Soul Guard out this turn. Train Steward, Drip it, Train Steward. Forgone power, which turns it on, and then I frostbite downstairs. It's a pretty strong turn, actually, like genuinely. And then we just get a whole bunch of units that are all terrible. I'm okay with that. Play some stuff out. It all dies. It's fine. We'll play as much as we can. Cool. Great. I mean, honestly, Animus of Will might mean we take zero from this, which is pretty wild. I take three up top. I'll drop the dreg here. I mean, I Titan's Tooth middle, which kills the floor. And none of these other cards matter. I'm going to incant because it makes me feel better. And mid floor is cleared. I mean, we win off the back of that. For sure. We're just aiming to double drip in the back. And then foregone power here. The goal is the double drip prevents the... What is it? The curses that he spawns? And then we drop Titan's Tooth on him here, which honestly just full crunches. I mean, I may as well just play stuff. It doesn't matter. We easily kill him. And he was dazed too. Uh, yeah, he has no chance. No chance whatsoever, friend. He, he hits me once. <laughs> Great. That's excellent news. We love that. I get everything, no risk. Crypt Builder is pretty darn good here. I have a lot of discards and the offering tokens. I could comfortably take this, I think. Flash Freeze is a ping, however. I don't have a ping. I should take a ping. It's going to be Flash Freeze. I would love all of these cards. They're all great starters. Crypt Builder, Crystallis. I'm going to take the ping, though, because Melting does not have one in the commons. Molded? Purifying Cleanse, if I had gone the Cold Channel route... I could take this Purifying Cleanse as a prospective play into the Remnant Banner, but I get this unit draft. I think Molded is stronger no matter what. Yeah, no matter what, Molded is just a better card here. I can bring a thing back. Yeah, we click Molded. Uh, well, no real choice here. We have Guard of the Unnamed Paraffin Thug and a Siren of the Sea. We click a Siren of the Sea here today. Friends, that is it. I'm going to go to the right. I don't need to. I could go to this magic shop and prepare for an X5 or something. Do I think I'm going to see an X5? I'm not going to let the fact that this is a cursed seed deter me from what I believe would be the normal way I would play this. I don't think I go to the magic shop because there's no good holdover here, right? If they showed me a holdover, I would want to put it somewhere, but I, I don't have that. My minus ones are, I guess, what, molded and then... Titan's Tooth, maybe? Maybe I minus one plus ten of Flash Freeze. Now, I'm going to go and maybe hit the Incant Armor 2 or something here. We'll see. We'll see. Endless plus 25. 
My love, my love for a hot shark. Where's Titan Sentry? Where you at, champ? Oh, I feel sad. Yeah, Baron, Lady of the House. These are not great. You could take Lady, and I think I would take Lady here if I had seen nothing. Man, I mean, this is a real rough harvest run, too. I don't think so. Harvest into Siren of the Sea. That's not good, though. The other problem... And let me tell you why I really don't like Harvest Infusion here. It forces you to play units, but Siren wants you to play spells, and so does Soul Guard. You don't want to build a line that is conflicting with itself like that. Now, if I hadn't seen this Siren, I might grab Baron because, I don't know, Desperation plays, but I just don't see it here. We're going to skip them. I have a Siren. I'm happy with it. I should consider a reroll on this shop. There is a chance I could afford something useful. A minus two and a tendon piercing. Oof, friends, that's pretty strong. Tendon piercing Titan's Tooth is notoriously effective because it gets 25, which kills all the healers, and it also takes out Shade Wings. It's a really good play. And I'm going through my deck fast. Let me reroll this shop. Oh, actually, I'm going to take this Incant Armor 2 here. I, I don't know. I didn't see it before. We're going to click that. Right? I just don't see a world I don't click this. Yeah, it's fine. Sure. And now I definitely can't afford things. So we're going to hold out. No steel shop until ring four. It's fine. I am going to upgrade the heck out of this Titan's Tooth. This is aggro as heck, but this is really powerful. This card, if I get an X5 or even just dupe it like once or something, it's going to demolish. And we redraw so fast. Unit draft. Unit draft? Unit draft. That's scary, but totally doable. Again, we're powerful. Despite how this looks. Cool. It's same as before, right? So it's... I mean, I don't have to play the dreg first, but you know what I mean. Oh, man. Another animus of will. We love it. Although this thing is just gonna die. It's very funny. That's fine. We out incant. We incant. Cool. Sure. I'm going to discard a foregone power here. We're going to play a molded. I will play train steward drag downstairs. I think I think it doesn't matter. I'm just going to foregone power upstairs. It's fine. We're going to be OK on this combat. The armor guarantees we're fine. Cool. Titan's tooth melts mid floor which is awesome. I could drip, right? And then melt bottom, which actually I will. I'm gonna drop the collector. This is very disrespectful. I drop collector and then melt bottom floor, which gives me a great answer into this forge disciple now. And then we just incant upstairs and it's fine. I'm not afraid of that mid guy. Yeah, like we easy get this, no problem. He's cleared. It's gonna be what, dreg, dreg, Rain Steward, Burden, Incant Upstairs. Remember, the Incant Upstairs is worth it even if I, you know, even if I already cleared the floor. Well, I'm going to Rain Steward, Dreg here. I could Drip down below. Bottom floor gets killed immediately, so I'm going to Drip in the back actually and i think i will just foregone power the boss because it guarantees a kill here the extra frostbite adds a lot ah, i took too many turns sadly we're just gonna blow the boss up of course of course that draw order it's fine 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 we're, we're fine it's not a problem oh i mean we even get better it looks bad but we had cards here and then titan's tooth behold my power hey look we did it cool great news it was kind of scary, because that animus kills itself, right? But we get through it. I get an infusion here, hopefully. Titan's Gratitude. It's bad. I don't love it. Frenzied Swarm. I mean, it's okay, but it conflicts really hard with Forgone Powers. It's one of those cards I feel like you should click anyway. It's Diligent. How do I feel about Diligent here? Just take a bunch of cards, right? Frenzied Swarm is probably the right choice here. If I see the holdover, it's a good target. I'm going to take it. I can remove those other ones. Molten Encasement. It was an answer here, right? If I'd gone the Harvest line, seeing this is good, but I would rather not. 
Now, how do I actually decide? Do I purify and cleanse? It's not bad having a heal. I'm going to take it. I want spells, and I think that one's good. Oh, self-infused siren, beautiful. Honestly, great news. You could have done self-infused baron here, too. Now, I have my infusion. How do I feel about the dupe here? If I self-infuse and immediately dupe it, that feels weak. I can dupe the Titan's Tooth, and then that crunches the mid-game having two of those. Another great example of Lost Luggage doing a lot of work here. I actually think the dupe is stronger here because I found a good infusion. If I hadn't seen that Siren, I think I would go to the Stygian Banner, but I'm gonna go to the right here. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do the infusion right now, and there's a reason for it. Man, another minus two. No good value in that though, right? Yeah, nothing. Because it could be an, I don't know, if it's an X5, I'm not going to X5 this, but I do think the Siren is the correct infusion right now. I think so, right? Um, let me back out real quick and look. When could I do this? I could do this post. I could do this post Daedalus if I'm scared of the 65 shards here. How strong do I have to be to beat 65 shard? What are you? Overcharged Apprentices? Okay. How do I feel about that? I'm going to that Vortex, I'm pretty confident. I mean, maybe the Merchant of Steel, I don't know. It'll depend a bit. I think the Infusion now does power me up a lot. I think it's correct. I can't, because the problem is I can't fit them all on the floor with Soul Guard right now. And so it doesn't matter having a second one, it's just going to die on another floor. But if I infuse it right now, then I can fit them together and get the Conscription Notice fella in there. And I think that's good. I think that's good. Yeah, okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. It's fine. Don't dupe. I could see an upgrade here. Oh, Wingmaker. Well, it's not Wingmaker here, and I'll tell you why. It's actually, you skip Wingmaker, and we take Hef's Consolation. It's basically multi-strike, right? I've said this on a lot of videos. A, a good way to look at it is when you take a two-space unit to a one-space unit, you can make two of them, right? And when you make two of them, they hit twice. It's literally multi-strike. The only thing you're paying here is you're paying the draw order. So you have to have play another one, right? You have more banner units and you're paying... What is the other cost here, honestly? I mean, obviously you're not getting another upgrade on the unit. You're paying the shard cost to up to duplicate this thing, but it's almost certainly worth more than whatever else you were going to do. Yeah, this is super worth it. Incredible. Thanks, Hef. I mean, this may be a case where the submitter just did not identify that Hef's Constellation is the play here. That is a super ch a chunker unit, a huge fan. Immediately we dupe that Siren because we are now outrageously powerful. And that's so many hits on the floor. I could take a purge here and go to 90 shards. This is a wild thing. I don't think I need these. This is something that's happened ever since I started playing Trainwreck. I've been a little more... It's made me a little more aware of how strong high shard early combats are. 80 shards is scary into Daedalus. It's scary, but we are powerful. And I'm confident I can beat it here. Now... I think going 100 into ring four, it's a little aggro. But we take the power when we can get it. And this also means that I'm gonna dupe that thing again at ring five, for sure, 100%. Let me see, is there a cavern somewhere I could take to? No, there's not, I would skip the cavern. I mean, it is the removal dupe. We definitely make a third one. Just jam these things into the floor. It's 100% correct. Behold my dreg. We use Soul Guard to buy time here. Do I even care about this cold Kalia? I mean, yes, because she is just a free unit on the floor, right? It's true. We're gonna offering token. I'm gonna discard, I have two Ember. I discard this train steward here. We're going to Titan's Tooth the boss because it's gonna crunch all five of his damage shield out, no problem. I'm just going to keep flash freezing him. That's a good amount of damage, honestly. Burnout extended middle. We incant upstairs. Yeah, I think we're going to be super fine. Excellent. In fact, we are great. 
I can clear this unit. That's pretty good. We'll take it. I'm going to foreground power up top because I could just hit. Great news. Cool. Daedalus goes upstairs. He's going to hit pretty tough, pretty hard here, but it's fine. Incoming Dreg. You put one here. He burns out. We put the bigger one in the back. He chunks. I play the train steward, and we're just going to incant, right? I don't care if it doesn't do anything up here. Like, that bomb sucks, but it's fine. I'm not afraid. Okay, I am afraid of that bottom dude, though. That's for sure. Train steward, train steward. Drag, play out the things. We incant upstairs, drop the dead weight. I don't really know what I'm going to drip fall here. You could drip fall something. Doesn't really matter, does it? I want the incant though, so I'm gonna drop the 5 1, I guess, and then we'll keep incanting. If I lose Soul Guard, it's okay. I'm just okay with it, really. If I see a blast, I'm shooting this 9 by 2 though. Yeah, he needs to go. We're going to now. I could just drip this 5 1 again. I think I will. Honestly, we just incant. I have demon fiends in the middle of this floor. We're very fine. Cool. And then we see... How is he looking? Oh, he's extremo dead. We're just going to blast upstairs and save the 5-1 here, I think. The incant is your friend. We do double train steward just to buy time on bottom. Gives him some ticks. And we incant upstairs. It's worth it. Cool. I mean, now at this point, we don't really have that many units. Or that many cards. It's just, okay, I guess I'm playing stuff. Fine. I do think it's time to Purify and Cleanse Soul Guard, which is kind of funny. I'm going to mold back Big Dreg, I guess. He doesn't take a round. It doesn't matter. We're just incanting. It's fine. If I redraw that card, great. If not, it's fine. He's going to die anyway. Our dude explodes. Orgon Powers. Honestly, foregone powers. We just keep doing it. I do need to clean that up a little, but we easily win this combat, as expected. Gifts for a guard. Spike of the Stygian is fine. Uh, it's a fine card. Sure, I don't hate it. I can play it at zero. It's better than a foregone power here. Paraffin Enforcer. I mean, we could have done something here, honestly, with that other side of the house, but we are fine. I think we have the line. I just lean into it. And we skip these guys. If there were a Titan Sentry there, I would take it. Trust me, I would take it. Now, Ember is okay. Space, I can fit four Sirens, so I'm not really concerned. And then I'm going to eventually be throwing the Conscription Notice guy away. It's always weaker than just another Siren. So I just take Draw here. Fine. That's good. And Steel Shop is pointless, so I'm going to go Removal Magic. I could see the Holdover, which I think helps a lot into Diligent. I could also just remove Train Stewards, which improves my draw right now. Yeah, it's way left. Magic Shop says... Remove, consume, temple says, bell chain. Bell chain's a good pickup here for a lot of reasons. I'll think about that. A minus one spell chain on Frenzied Swarm, better than you think. Because you discard, it creates the card, and then you can play it again. As long as you've got the one ember for it, you're good. Man, Paraffin Enforcer, you could have self-infused there. It's tough because... Not taking advantage of Siren here would have been wrong. You could have done Self-Infused Baron with the Tiny Stone. It would have been fine. It would have been fine. Maybe there's a multi-strike somewhere in this run. You could really go kind of crazy. You only saw the one tomb, though. I don't know. I think Incans are definitely stronger here. We're going to skip this. Three Barons, though. Good grief. We cut two train stewards here because they're bad and don't help us. We go to the magic shop. I put a minus one into Frenzied Swarm 10 times out of 10. Plus 10 magic power. I am just going to load up Purifying Cleanse. Healing my friend is a good call. I think that's a fine pickup. Sure. Eternal Stone. No. Reroll. 
Okay, holdover minus one on the Frenzied Swarm. I was thinking about spell chaining it. Frenzied Swarm on holdover, we got it. We, we got it, great news. I'm now looking for minus ones on my important cards. So Molded will go free. 20 consume, no. I could purge. No, I get free purges next turn. I think we're okay. I'm gonna forge. We obviously take Titan Channel 2 here. We're going all the way on that. And you could consider a spell chain. You could spell chain the Purifying Cleanse, and then I could actually pump these into Soul Guard, no problem. The thing is, is now that I have the holdover on Frenzied Swarm, not as worried about it. Offering token holdover, it's fine. It's fine, right? I don't mind. I could also minus one spell chain this Dripfall at some point. That's kind of an interesting idea because it stacks additional days. That could be the way you get through Diligent here. Assuming you don't see something like... Oh, what am I talking about? This isn't 200 shards. I don't have to deal with Stealth Diligent. Right, of course. I, so Diligent is fine. I just need to take cards. And then I hunt Magic Shops. I miss some Vortices. That's fine. I'm going to take the spell chain. I mean, it stays under 100 here, which I think is important. I'm going to take a spell chain on Dripfall because I think this is actually a really good additional answer in this run. And if I had thought about this better, I would have taken a minus one into it ahead of time instead of putting it into like the molded. But I think it's fine. It's going to be less useful now. We move on, right? I'm not worried about this. Oh, I actually buy a removal. Never mind. I'm going to a removal dupe. So we're just going to buy a cut on a train steward here. 15 gold into a no shop floor is fine. Stay under 100 here, which is the true nightmare. Yeah, this guy. This guy. Buddy. Ooh, buddy. We are going to... Spikes? Yeah, I can take that. If I didn't have the dupe here, I would not be able to. See the turn one Frenzied Swarm. Great news. Drag out. Drag out. Soul Guard up top. Ooh, Armor Shark is excellent i can put him in front here and then we double siren what a good floor we offering token drag again i will flash freeze i suppose may as well we will zero cost incant upstairs and then we hold over here and we just incant hard Give me... Dang, well, I have the drip fall at least. I'm gonna drip... Money. I think... Immediately, we see the challenge of... How do I not lose to... The way the game works? Hmm. Do I... Flip a coin here? It's a tough decision. Do I play the incant here? I think I should. Give up the shark, potentially. He has only, what, two more draws? It's possible. I play the three units out, so there's six here, six here. See it in enough turns? I mean, I'm going to play the purifying cleanse, at least, and then the frenzied swarm. Those, those foregone powers have to go, for the record. No choice. Okay, we actually clear top floor, which is incredible, which means I can Titan's Tooth the bottom floor for money, which I'm super on board with. Yeah. Excellent, in fact. And now mid floor is a little scary. I should have maybe considered doing that. I'm going to greet a little bit, but that's fine. I just incant and we just take spikes damage. It's a little nasty. I am looking for, yeah, I was going to say a drip fall is probably necessary here. Goodbye, guard, by the way. I'm going to drop a man, I think, which will save me a ton. I play the molded here. We'll take back a drag. We kill the front fella here, though, which is at least something. Cool. I will drip the guy in the back as well and then i frenzied swarm here this brings out soul guard which is an important milestone on this combat oh yeah i mean we hit the 
you hit the Titan's Tooth, you feel pretty good about your run. I technically don't even have to play it, which is very silly. But I am going to at least play my cards. My Titan's Tooth here is good. Right? How's mid-floor looking? Mid-floor is fine. We Titan's Tooth here, it's good. Yes. I then, I mean, I just frenzied swarm it. We have enough incants to get through this combat. Cool, offering tokens. I'm gonna discard Forgone Powers here because they're really bad. Purifying Cleanse, wrong order. Let's see. 90, 68. Okay, so if I incant here, I get 71, which kills in the back. Excellent. He was only living because of the regen, which was the scary part. Okay, this man, horrifying. We're gonna toss that Titan's Tooth at him, for sure. Absolutely, we incant. I mean, I don't really get choices here. We discard, it's fine. Okay, cool, we get through it. Molded is gonna do some work here. I'm going to bring back the Dreg because he fits in the floor. Sure, I'm going to drip fall the boss. Good, I'm gonna drip fall the boss. Good. I'm gonna flash freeze the boss. I'm gonna daze the boss. Much better. We actually don't even lose the dreg here, which is incredible. Cool. Great, in fact. Excellent. Mold braces? Ah, sure, why not? It's something. Fine. Another frenzied swarm. Ice storm is a good card. Remember, I'm aiming to replace these foregone powers, which means I need to answer diligent, especially with the fact that I have a holdover. So we take this ice storm. For sure. Mortal Entrapment. It's expensive. Subsuming Blade. I'm going to a magic shop soon-ish. Subsuming Blade is probably a good choice here. It's early enough. I'll take it. I think it's fine. I'm planning on just making things free. We're going to dupe here, almost certainly. Yeah, I mean, we are. I already decided on it. Horde. Wax or Snuffer? Okay, you could have done something really stupid here. Wax or Snuffer's weird because I have mold braces. How do I feel about Concussive Coals? Actually, it's Concussive Coals here, right? As weird as this is because I'm not playing bottom floor. So my floor is essentially just going to be hit a million times and then hopefully deal with curses some other way. And this at least potentially stops curses, right? Yeah, okay, we'll take that. Odd choices, but we take them. I'm going to drop Train Steward final. And I'm going to drop Forgone Power. Five of these is really doomed right now. I'm going to dupe Siren. We've already kind of decided on this. I've now got a super full floor. There's a serious consideration for taking space and doing it again. Where is it? It's unfortunately on the... Nah, I don't love that. If I don't have a backline answer, I might have to do this, though, right? We'll see. Go to 135. I don't have to... Like, this horde is probably okay. I should maybe respect on shards a little bit. 120 is an extra stealth on stealth boss. It's worth considering. I'm going to chill on shards. We're just going to move on. I think you could take this and go 200 here and be okay. I mean, it's Harpy. She's... Fine. I'm going to take the armor trial here. I think this will help a little. Give me some removals at least. Cool. It's Soul Guard. Who do we get? Husk Hermit. Well, friend, sure. Go downstairs. I believe. Dreg. Dreg. Good job. You play Siren. Siren. We're going to draw now. Yep. I wanted to leave one Ember because it could have been another Siren. Exactly, as you saw here. You never know. I was a consideration for Husk Hermit on middle as well, but I didn't end up doing it. I'm just going to Subsuming Blade this guy. That's great, actually. I now have Frenzied Swarm, which means... What? You drip this guy on middle? Incredible. Because he dies. <laughs> he never hit. Incredible. Then we frenzied swarm up top. I have to get rid of these foregone powers. Is the big loss. The big challenge here. I need to incant. So it is offering token on Titan's Tooth here. 
I'm going to drag down below. I mean, he does get chewed through to play in middle then. I will just keep incanting. I think it's fine. Oh man, this purifying cleanse was also just wrong, I think. Oh well. Next turn I get out Soul Guard and this cleans up a lot, which is good. Oh yeah, actually you get a lot of survivability just from the Husk Hermit getting these double extinct or the single extinguished mold braces, which is kind of fun. Mold, I'm gonna bring back a drag, it's fine. Cool, good job. Put this in front, tanks the whole wave, good news. I am gonna keep incanting though, you cannot stop me. It's correct to do so. I could do this in the other order, spike at two, but it does not matter here because consider, it doesn't matter. You could do spike first, it's technically better, and then you play the Frenzy Swarm, which plays the Titan's Tooth. I'm gonna do it just to show you. There's no reason not to do it the correct way. Oh no, I can't afford it, ah, but it's fine. Yeah, like we're okay. I do need to speed this up a little bit. I'm gonna offering token here. We're gonna toss the foregone powers, they're bad. I don't feel like taking this curse in the back. Yeah, sadly, not over 10 yet, so I can't get the clip defender. I think the right choice is actually to drip in front though, right? And then, so with the drip in front, it's fine. How can I, hmm, I can't get a subsuming blade here anywhere. Yeah, no dregs alive, unfortunate. And in that case, I think we just, I mean, I, I don't want to drip again. I guess I will just drip, I don't know, a dude downstairs, it's fine, he dies, whatever, and then we frenzied swarm up top and we're okay. I still take the five, of course, because the extinguish, but it's okay, right? I mean, we're okay. Yeah, we clear up top. Incants are worth it, by the way. They are extremely worth it. Yeah, great news. Oh no, Harpy, how could you? I've been chewed. I am just gonna Titan's Tooth her though. That's a good amount of damage. We're gonna drop. Orgon power in truth. I mean, a lot of these cards are tough. I have bad incants right now, unfortunately. Yeah, Frenzied Swarm. I need to hold on to it. It is a free turn here. It's going to do a lot of damage here, but we're going to be okay. Yeah, I mean, we chew through it eventually. Drop Frenzied Swarm. You drip once. You drip twice. Ice Storm, wow, all five in the back, and then we Frenzied Swarm. The extra days here does add up. We don't even take a hit now, which is excellent. And I'm hoping to do that on the Relentless in other combats as well. Unnamed Tome, incredible, I will take it. It's a free incant, it's a good card. We take these, good. Man, that's tough. Fail Melting, Memento Mori, Subsuming Blade. Fatal Melting, I mean, I guess it's going to get some value. It's pretty unlikely I cut these dregs because I do think the Foregone Powers are worse. Technically, I think even the Purifying Cleanse is worse. Unless I want to find a way of in extremely boosting my burnout. AKA another spell chain, maybe. Yeah. That's true. Well, I'm going to skip these. These cards suck. Now, I could afford trinkets, but I think the magic shop is just stronger here. And the removals are a little trickier, I think. Like, double incant would be obviously game winning, GG, easy mode. I think we're in an okay position right now, regardless. And seeing some magic shop upgrades, like for Dripfall here, is going to be just really good. Plus, maybe I see another cavern upgrade here, which would be nice. First minus one, put this in the Dripfall for sure. This is a very powerful incant now. It's also good because I can leave in extra copies for Diligent. We love it. Look in the caverns now. Strength Stone. I mean, we take these, right? I'm just going to overflow a Siren. Starts at 30 now. And then this is the one I'm probably going to dupe. Sure. Right? I don't... Uh, briefly, let's look. Bone Shine? No. Rattler? 
I guess it could be. I'm going to take the Strength Stone Overflow, though. I think this is just fine. It's not the best overflow. It's something. It is something. Cool. Plus 10. Ice Storm. I mean, what am I looking at? They give me a 10 in piercing, I guess. I'm not going to put it in that, probably. Maybe I do. Maybe. I'm just going to put a plus 10 in the Ice Storm here so it doesn't suck. And I think that's going to be fine. I could also put this in Subsuming Blade, help it out a little bit, but I'd like to make it cheaper. Yeah, I'm going to put it in Ice Storm. You may as well. Remove Consume. Nah. Reroll it. Double stack. Double stack the Purifying Cleanse. It's actually playable. Is this better than removing it? That's a good question. <laughs> I mean, you could also just double stack a Drip Fall and make that card better, too. That said, I do think it's it's coming up. Magic Shop again. I mean, yeah, Magic Shop again. I'm not going to the Steel Shop here. I don't need it. So on this second Magic Shop on Ring 7, if I don't see a minus 2, I can minus 1, minus 1, subsuming there. But I want to leave that slot open here. I'm also going to leave a slot open on Ice Storm for a plus 30, possibly. Although, really, do I need it? I would take it if they showed it to me. I guess it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. In that case, minus one the drip fall, maybe? Minus one the flash freeze? Black Freeze is a harder card to play on my floor, right? They're all kind of hard cards to play on my floor, admittedly. Ice Storm's at least playable. But I want to leave that open for a possible plus 30, right? It improves my temple there. I get value from Spell Chain into Purifying Cleanse. Right. I get value from minus 2 into Subsuming Blade. Right. And I get value from plus 30 into Ice Storm. Cool. That's, how, that's smart. That is smart thinking. I'm going to drip fall for zero here, I think. It's fine. Sure. Sure. And I'm going to cut foregone powers because these cards are terrible. Truly the worst. I'm going to cut two. And then I'm going to math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I need to draft cards very badly. So we're just going to take spells, it turns out. Yeah, we're just going to take spells, is the thing. Cool, I'm going to chill on my cash right now. I can always do more removals later if I want. Save the money here, it's fine. 15 is aggro into Diligent. Even at 100 shards, you're looking for 20 is an ideal number. That is a really good turn one. We do Soul Guard. Who do we get? Branded Warrior. All right, good luck, champ. I believe. Maybe. I could have played him up there and then dripped, but it doesn't matter, right? We do Siren, Siren, Siren. I then just drip in the back here. Drip in the back here. Leave that purge copy in, molded here. Don't play the purifying cleanse. Sure. It's a pretty decent ramp. Cool, actually, Subsuming Blade gets a kill, incredible. Oh, it's amazing. We're over 10 now. Amazing. I'm going to play the Titan's Tooth appears. as well. I am just going to face tank on the bottom with a whole bunch of dregs. He might kill something eventually. I could start cutting dregs. They do kind of hurt my early game a bit. I storm. Amazing. Offering token. Discard four gun power here. We take double dregs downstairs. He actually kills something. It's incredible. And then we spike upstairs for 10 Frostbite. It's something. And we pop out Soul Guard. Looking pretty decent. How am I feeling about taking space here? That's an interesting idea. Ooh, Subsuming Blade. I will take these procs. These are value for me. I don't care about harvests or extinguishes here i'm just going to play the unnamed tome for the incant we're gonna snipe in the back i will does not matter in truth none of these cards are playable 
We just play Frenzied Swarm. That's tough. That is a tough way of incanting. I need to improve that a lot. Big improvements are needed here. Okay. Molded, sure. I'm looking for any card I can reasonably play. Wow, the whole floor got dazed. That's pretty cool. Ice Storm, it's playable. Flash Freeze, it's playable. Frenzied Swarm. Okay, so the real cut that's hurting me here is actually finding cards that are playable. Is basically it. I mean, the Drip Falls are going to be solid. Like, I don't mind. Oh no, Drip Fall. Like, I, I don't, I'm not hitting Fell here. So let's just Drip Fell off the floor. Right? And then just load her up. I don't mind this necessarily. We just load her up with a whole bunch of days. Bottom floor, he's going to die no matter what. And then we frenzied swarm up here and it's fine. Tough. My man is perishing. I could shoot him. It's pretty, probably pretty good, right? I'm going to shoot my own man. Look, I know what you're thinking. Why would you do that? I don't have a great answer for you. Other than that, it feels obviously correct. Here, armor for the mid floor. It's fine. I'm going to daze upstairs. It's okay. Thor. Now, he dies. Importantly. <laughs> I could subsuming blade him. It's as if I planned this. Although I really should do it upstairs. When do you die? Two rounds? Okay, so you waste all the days. So it doesn't actually matter. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot the top. It's fine. Phew, that's good. Offering token, <laughs> the subsuming blade again. It's all right, I'm not gonna be doing anything. And then these cards are all unplayable. Incredible. We love unplayable cards. Cool, give me a bunch of drip falls here. Yeah, thank you. We're just gonna drip the boss a whole bunch. The incant, dead weight, sure. A mold here. Again, awkward. I bring back the Branded Warrior because he immediately burns out, which is nifty. I will take the Incants because I value them quite a bit. Sure, give me another Drip Fall, please. Thank you, great. We have enough HP that we can chew through a lot here. So we Drip, we Offering Token, we cut the Forgone Power, we Mold. We're just going to take cards here. Anything that is functionally playable. And a daze. Sure, three days here does add up. It's going to be enough for Relentless. I am concerned about actually killing heavies, though. I'm not doing so hot in a 190s. Ancient Synergy, Snap Click. It's a spell. I love it. How do I feel about a fourth Siren? I feel pretty good about a fourth siren. In fact, it's pretty nice having another one, I think. It also helps because it's another 120 hit on the floor, which is better than most of my other choices. I'm going to take the space and we're going to make a fourth siren here. It's just a whole bunch of tiny sirens. And again, I do think it is magic shop. I want things to get cheaper. Also, max higher health is nice. I get something of value here no matter what. A plus 30 into this ice storm is exactly fine. Purge? Hmm. Okay. Purge. Titan Channel 3, uh, of course. Take money. Permafrost is going to be a hard swing. Now, I really want to go to this magic shop coming up, but I can't because I have to go to the dupe here. So, what's the most important minus one? Honestly... Ancient Synergy down to one is probably it. Right? Making it two cost and making Subsuming Blade one cost is probably better. In truth. Yeah, we'll do a minus one here. Plus ten. This plus ten. I'm just going to toss this in a Subsuming Blade because it never gets another upgrade now. Sure, 27 is functional. Reroll it. I need the magic upgrades. Move consume. I could put that on unnamed tome if I really want to. Now, which one is the more important card here? 
Ancient Synergy is playable on my floor every time. Subsuming Blade is not. So I think Ancient Synergy to one is actually just better here. I can also then toss the plus 10 into Subsuming Blade if I really wanted to. I guess I could put a plus 10 into Ancient Synergy. It's only doing, what, 90 something right now? It's not great. It could do 120. Make Subsuming Blade cost less? An interesting question. Because that's a purge in there. I need to just take cards. So I'm going to take two spells from this upcoming combat no matter what. I'm buying the minus one and the plus 10. The plus 10 does take this to 120. It's pretty good. I do like that. Yeah, actually, this is a more important plus 10 because Subsuming Blade getting to 27 at least makes it like... I'm thinking, this is actually... I mean, I can get at least a drag kill, right? And then get it to 30, which kills a Purifier, which is very scary, potentially. Yeah, I think the plus 10 is here. Yeah, and the minus 1 is on Subsuming Blade now. And we chill. Urge... As much as I would love nothing more than to purge another Forgon Power, I mean, actually, you put the purge in the Forgon Power and we don't play it until Diligent. Yeah, actually, that's that's it right there. And now we move on. Because that's a card for Diligent, but it improves other stuff. Oh, God. It's Pyrewings. Okay, I can deal with Pyrewings like a normal floor because I can disrupt their tanks. So this is actually an okay spell shield. If this were purifiers, I think this would be a nightmare, but we're actually okay, I believe. Oh, nice. The turn one daze lets me load up a little bit on this guy on turn one, which I like. We drop soul guard. Animus, I mean, she doesn't do much, sadly. You play the siren. Draw first. Okay, I knew there would be a, something there. I'm going to drop Dripfall because it's hard to incant with it to get my other Siren down. I then, I have one Ember. I'm going to draw again. I would like to drop the Dreg here. I have one more Siren coming up, which is space. I could put Animus up here, but she's just going to die. So we're going to load her up downstairs. She at least does something. We take the incants up top. Oh, I mean, two. I can get 120 in on this guy here. I need these incants, though, is truly it, though. I just don't think I have the luxury of not incanting. It's a pretty decent floor. Days on Collector. Interesting. Okay, I can Subsuming Blade the guy in back on middle, which is nice. Collector is a thing. Now the challenge, of course, I could unnamed Tome the Ember Drain dude, because he's going to slow me down, right? Oh no, he's actually going to be dazed, right? Yeah, he's going to be dazed. So we just blow unnamed Tome here as an incant. But we put, of course, we put the Siren down first. There's no way around it. Yeah, Siren down first. Low unnamed tome as an incant. Subsuming blade. What scares me more? Honestly, I think we're gonna deal with the 290 once I get Soul Guard out. I think I'm gonna work on Collector here. Yeah, I think it's Collector. How am I looking into a 203 HP enemy? Pretty bad, it turns out. We are pretty much not handling that. I might double drip him to just get him out of there, actually. It's pretty okay. Of course, molding upstairs. That's an incant I need to be clicking. I should consider another drip here. Forty-eight in front. I do like that. I could see a Titan's Tooth next floor. I'm gonna double drip this guy in back here, and because I've done this, I'm gonna subsuming the twenty-five by two and not 
the collector and we will take the days here up top for the incant okay we're all just looking for ways to make this work okay great news i see the ancient synergy which doesn't actually do anything i want so i'm going to, because of the spell shield so i'm going to splash freeze for money on middle play the drag on bottom it dies it gives armor we get an incant up top i guess it's okay tough i think we're leaking something here but i do need to incant our incanting line not great is probably the best way i can put it okay we get titan's tooth i like titan's tooth here that's a good card we're gonna play that first okay I am now going to spike in the back because tough. How am I looking? If I get another incant adds nine to the floor. I think tough. This is a tough run. The incants are not good. The incants are not good. I'm definitely taking damage here. The question now becomes, I hope I hit a drip fall to send the steel wings away or send something down away. The spike, I get two incants. I could gamble the foregone power for another incant. Gamble because they could hit foregone power or dead weight, but if it hits frenzied swarm, I'm going to feel bad because then I can't really play cards coming up and that's going to be extremely bad. So I think we can't do that gamble. Now, who do I want this flash freeze on? Because this guy in the bag is gonna beat me up. If I get two incants, I get plus nine twice, right? What is it? Two, two, so three, nine to the floor, yeah. So I get 18, 18 puts him at 164. So you got a flat, you got a spike in the front here if you wanna guarantee this guy's dead in one turn here. And then we frenzied swarm, no gamble, no gamble, no chance. And we're gonna eat dirt and it's just gonna have to be okay. The 40 means he takes one swing, but I eat this damage. This guy's gonna do a lot to me, but yeah, it's fine. It will just have to be fine. I will drip middle fellow out of here. I will mold here. This is important because now I can bring back the animus, right? We play the Animus now, and I can put the Purifying Cleanse into the Animus, right? And now I Flash Freeze, and I finally get Soul Guard out, and I can Synergy here for the Incant and Frenzied Swarm to stop the damage. And we might be able to actually do this. Incredible, actually. The subsuming blade here actually goes on middle to kill the tanker for sure i offering token i titan's tooth here that does a lot of work we play out the dreg we daze great news Honestly, Animus is kind of helping pull it off. I appreciate it, Animus, in a big way. We keep the foregun power. I will just drip for Incant. Yes. Ice Storm. Flash Freeze. Frenzied Swarm. Okay. And now I believe we stabilize. I shoot my own Animus here. Right? I think I'm probably going to load up some drips on the boss here. I think I do want to scale the subsuming blade a little more, though. So I'm going to shoot my own animus. That's fine. I offering token. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. I get to reform the animus. I'm going to drop ancient synergy on this turn. I mold back the animus, I suppose. We take these, I guess. It's fine. And then I drip... Drip, drip, frenzied swarm up top, and that extra day should easily get us through. Cool. So I did eat a little bit of dirt here. It is just a thing. That is true. 
right? It's just a thing that is true. I don't really know what else to tell you besides that sucks, but it's going to be fine. I am obviously, you can see how slow we are. I need spells that I can play. I took 52 damage there. Crystalline Seeds, absolutely. Snap Click. Just cards that are playable. Titan's Tooth, actually also extremely playable and potentially just way better. It's tough. It's better because it's more reusable. It's worse because it doesn't play nicely in the Diligent. I'm going to take the Seeds here. Yo, Resin Removal. Absolutely, I snap click Resin Removal here. Incredible. Two good spells. Glad to see them. We go left. I need another friend. Yeah, it's it's just another friend, right? There's no universe I don't do this. Yeah, for sure. Forgotten Boons. I don't know. Trinket Shop. Show me something good. Cuddle Beard? Man, where was my shark on this run? Good grief. I mean, Titan's Tooth, right? It's an option. Split Anvil. Ooh, Split Anvil. I have an Ancient Synergy. That's actually really good. I'm going to take Split Anvil here. Yes. I'm going to re-roll this. A Cuddle Beard. I don't see it, friends. I just don't. I'm going to dupe big siren because she does 10 more damage it's something you may as well there's no difference otherwise okay four sirens and four sirens and a soul guard let's re-roll this trinket shop i don't see the value in the hammer chest plates and stuff totem fragment absolutely that's going to turn that ancient synergy that ice storm that subsuming blade even this titan's tooth into a true weapon that's that's what we're looking for that's what we're looking for. Now let me count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If, you in, if we leave in some, some you know, spell chain copies of things, I think we're going to be okay. Is what it comes down to. I think we'll be okay. I could cut this last foregone power in sort of like a final act of defiance here. I think cutting the last Forgon power and then playing very defensively with my spell chain copies will be worthwhile because this Forgon power is just dead. Okay. And that is the extent of my run. 150 shards, it's going to have to be good enough. 150 out of 100, let's go. I think you might have been able to go a little harder here, but it'll have to do. Man, I took 52 for that enemy cool remember i would like to preserve units so play the dregs down below play the soul guard we get animus of speed which i mean i'm just gonna take the shot downstairs right we play siren siren Pop Vengeful Shard here. I get two incants this turn if I... Not a great way of doing it. I had Split Anvil Opportunity, but I would have had to take this Vengeful Shard. But the thing is, is hmm, I had to play both of the Sirens. It's a really good first turn, though. The only thing that got upgraded was a Purifier, which is low impact, we'll call it. I could also shoot it out. I actually think the play here is Crystalline Seeds is the incant. Okay. We then come downstairs and we Ice Storm and yeah, hit the Purifier. Except the one and we take a zero cost incant here onto myself and we move on, take that one. I think that is just better. And then mid floor is cleared. Right? It's gone. Beautiful. I play Siren... Siren, and then I foregone power, the purge copy, oh, beautiful, and it hits, it hits the thing I wanted to hit, incredible, I will drip fall once, I could leave in this spell chain copy for future draws, I might consider it, genuinely, now we're getting a scary floor, right, big 290, I need to answer him, I need to incant, 
is just a universal truth. I could drip one, two. I think I need to incant right now. I don't have the luxury of holding on to my cards for later. I need to get Soul Guard online fast. So we're going to drop one. This guy is going to be fine because he dies to the four on power. Cool. We're going to drop Soul Guard now, too. Cool. Five incants is something. Sure. At least Animus of Speed shot that guy. I'll take it. The burn here is resin removal, almost certainly, I think. It's tough. If it's not going to get played on my floor, do I want to burn it? I think the drip fall. No. Mm. I'm going to burn an offering token. No. I think I burn... This is such a difficult choice. I'm not playing Ancient Synergy here, so it's getting discarded. It's going to be Titan's Tooth plus con Resin Removal, depending on what I draw into top deck. I think dropping out his Stealth and Spell Shield is correct here. You can see at 150, when by the time he hits top floor, that Stealth is gone, but I might be able to actually hit him, right? I have to Titan's Tooth middle. I'm... I'm going to burn this drip fall. Yeah, I think that's the burn. I'm going to offering token up here. Cool. I'm going to drop the ancient synergy. I play drag downstairs. I'm going to offering token again. We just discard this molded. It's fine. I don't actually have to resin removal the boss on this turn. In fact, it's better to do resin removal discard here so I can play the molded up top and get back this treg with the incant. That's good, right? And then I get the Titan's Tooth middle, which kills everything of threat. And we drop the curse out. Six more incants. It's all about getting Soul Guard online. Once we do that, we're okay. That's a tough turn. I think I need to incant, so I'm going to unnamed Tome upstairs is the burn here. It's a bad turn, turns out. I need to hit this guy. We're going to flash freeze him. I think he actually dies. Wow, shocking. And then we're just going to load up some dregs downstairs, I think. Right? Hey, she kills something. I'll take it. She's doing great work, okay? I don't want to hear it. And then we just frenzied swarm out. Okay, we don't get... Soul Guard out yet, but we do hit the big scary man, which is good. This is going to be a load up, isn't it? It is a load up. That's horrible. I think it's time to burn Molded here or consume the Purifying Cleanse. I need three spell casts on this turn. It's going to be Molded, Subsuming Blade, Frenzied Swarm. So I will just burn Purifying Cleanse downstairs. Goodbye. I'm going to play the Self-Mutilation. I'm going to play a Molded. Bring back a dude. Okay, something. Sure. I'm going to shoot a dude in the back because... I guess if I shot the guy in the front, it's technically better because of the spell... the spell weakness here. I do get Soul Guard out, though, right? Two spell casts. He gets the 15 and then pops out. Yeah, okay, so he's going to punch in front and then the 1, 2, 3, 4, so I should just take the scaling, is what this tells me. Sure, yeah, that's fine. And then we do the, subsume, the Frenzied Swarm and we clear the floor. Great job. Bonk, 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 bonk. Excellent work. Okay, all right, Soul Guard's out. Good news. Now, obviously, I do want to burn cards. I am going to play the self-mutilation it's annoying the burn here is resin removal i mean i am gonna play it upstairs for the incant in truth i don't actually care i'm gonna burn an offering token it's fine yeah i mean that's a real nasty turn but it's gonna be okay play this resin removal I actually we'll play the offering token first because you could draw into ancient synergy and just blast a floor that's pretty neat I could play this middle. A double heavy's coming up. What's coming up? Oh, I get the Titans too. I don't actually care. Yeah, we're going to incant with it. It's fine. 
just send this guy and then we frenzied swarm him and it's good. Cool. We're gonna have enough stats, I think. Animus is still alive, by the way. Which is unbelievable. That's a rough turn. I am going to drip. What's the drip here? Hmm. I could take three to my pyre. 210, 77, and then 87, 71 is 158. Yeah, I could take three to my pyre and hit Diligent with the Titan's Tooth and then stop the last Purifier. Oh, actually, what we should do... I think we do drop the Drip Fall, sadly. So we're going to drop him. Yes. And then we're going to... Yeah, okay, check this. We drop him. We now drop the Cursed Friend. Yeah. Through. Do it. He goes away. We play the Mutilation. I'm going to go downstairs and play this Titan's Tooth because it kills the front and the back. And it does some genuine work here. Doesn't actually kill the back. Oh yeah, I guess math. It's fine. And then we Frenzy Swarm with top for the incant. We're really struggling on the incants and I have to play things on other floors because diligent problems. But it will be okay. We burn the molded. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Incoming dreg. You know, Animus of Speed lasted until Relentless, okay? That's actually really impressive. And she even hits this guy. If I, if you would asked me if she would have done that, answer would have been, no way. I need to incant. There's no world around this, right? Just play the cards, please. Ice Storm. Not everything will perish, so I can, of course, just shoot one for an incant. I need to prepare for Relentless. We're looking at... We have a lot of armor. I'm looking at something like 100 armor per unit, probably. Something like that. That looks good, right? That looks good. Uh, let's see. I need to just incant, right? What's coming up? I get an offering token next turn. I'm just going to incant. I, these incants are worth enough for me. And how much stealth does he have? He loses his stealth here uh, for sure, which is enough. I lose the spell shield value, but it's going to be okay, right? Is it? 100 plus 128? I mean, that's a lot of stats. It's like 480, 480 plus soul guards at full life. Yeah, we're just burning it. I think it's fine. Now, the play here is you burn the resin removal. We're gonna play the Ancient Synergy now because we get to play this Titan's Tooth for free anyway. And we just take the double incants and it's gonna be good. Cool, we're at 160 here, which is solid. I play the Offering Token. Man, look how close this is. This is actually wild how close this is. Ooh, I get to play all of these cards and they're great. I can just discard this and then play these two, and this is better. Yeah, so check it. You play Subsuming here. Good. Great news. That helps a bunch because that guy just chews through some stuff. We blast the front dude here. Great. And then we front, oh man. The first time I get to use Split Anvil, it's, it's cracked. Doesn't matter. Frenzied Swarm. We lose Soul Guard, but we chew through it with the rest of this. Honestly, this is just a lot of stats on the floor. We have just created four very large stat sticks, and it turns out it wins with some damage support. I take one damage here. Uh, it's a shame. I was hoping for blank pages or something to kind of prop up soul, uh, the boss combat here, but it's okay. I think we get through Divinity because I can Frenzied Swarm and then Day Stack on him, and that's going to be pretty good. Cool. Dregs. Goodbye. Dregs. Yeah, I mean, we just play the cards. Another Siren. I mean, I can't fit her on the floor, so what does it matter? It's actually really good, by the way, that we did not or hit too hard here. I actually can't play them all, huh? 
Yeah, I can't play them all. I have to incant enough and I didn't draw the right cards here. So you have to incant. I mean, I could incant them to 15 here and then walk into the next turn with one. I need to think about this. There are three cards in my deck that answer this. This just gives me an extra incant, though. I mean, think about the impact here. That's what? That's a swing of five. I think I'm going to play this safe. I, I know this is wild and maybe ugh, this is so tough. I could put this bad siren up here, right? But she's going to be... I could actually drip her out, right? I'm going to put Bad Siren up here, actually. And she's going to do fine. Because she's free, right? She's free. Now, I'm going to Ice Storm the boss. Yes. And then I'm going to mold it. That's 10 HP bonus here. Yikes. Okay. Okay, we see the answer, actually. So we're actually okay, but it was scary, right? This could have gone very poorly. We have to... We see an answer, right? We drip the boss here, for sure, and it swings that pretty big. I'm going to get a dreg kill downstairs. I will play the offering token up here. Resin removal is nice. I like resin removal. Mid-floor. Scary. What's coming up? Don't have many great cards here, actually. I think we probably need to resin removal the middle here to have any chance of killing that floor. True. And then I think I actually subsuming blade the front siren, right? This was kind of the line that I was imagining. We use her as a vessel to perish. And now I'm really hoping I see something. Okay, that's good. Honestly, great. We're going to take the Crystalline Seeds here. Right? You Crystalline Seeds. We drag in front. So that I can purify and cleanse him. I know this is getting a little wild. We're going to Ancient Synergy this floor out. And now the Extinguish hits up top. Now the question then... Oh, actually, not the Extinguish. The boss is swinging. So do I burn Unnamed Tome here? I need to get Soul Guard online, and I need these Incant stats. So I will burn the Unnamed Tome up top, actually. And I can now Frenzied Swarm here, and what? The Dreg actually lives. I could drip him next turn if I absolutely have to. Right? If I absolutely have to. I think I need this. Yeah, we do it. The Dreg lives. It's unfortunate. It's fine. I, I think I need these incants in a big way. I know, Chains. Look, I know. It's unfortunate. I need to incant here, no doubt, in my mind. I mean, it's going to be drip fall on the boss just 10 times out of 10. I don't think I have a choice. I'm going to offering token here. It's a good draw. So I can drop the dead weight here. I can play all of these cards, which gets soul guard online. Don't feed armor middle. You play the ancient synergy, which makes every other card in your hand free. Okay, Soul Guard goes online here, which is really important. I get a drip fall in the boss, and I think that swings this floor around entirely. Incredible. And now I can play the Frenzied Swarm and we stay ahead here. Yes, and the guy in front still dies because of the Extinguish Trigger, which means on the next turn... I get my sec my fourth siren guaranteed finally. Good grief. What a risk. I need to draw a spell that hurts. Oh, beautiful. I was really scared actually of not hitting 
the right unit there. We're gonna play Last Siren. She's doing great, okay? She's doing excellent. Well, welcome to the floor. It is... I mean, it's gonna be Resin Removal first because it's a spell. It's gonna be Subsuming Blade. Now, I do 15 in front and in back. So I should Subsuming Blade in the middle. You may ask why. The answer is simple. How much am I doing the chains? I mean, maybe I have to drip him, I don't know. But think about this. I want Soul Guard to hit Dark Wings and then 75 hits and then 71 will kill middle person here. Yes, it's good. I then mold. I'm going to mold back Bad Siren because she actually hits the guy on the middle floor pretty effectively. Okay, she actually dies. It's fine. Now I Frenzied Swarm, which should send most of this. You know what? We take these. I take one hit from this floor for 10. That's actually really good. Offering token here. Very scary floor. Drop the Purifying Cleanse. It is unplayable. I theoretically could drip chains three times and never fight him. How do I feel about that? I will redraw these drips. I just never fight a mini boss. You know what? Yeah, I just never want to fight a mini boss, actually. And then he's on bottom, so I'm going to put this last drip up top, and that's going to be okay. I do want to play out the Weight of Contrition here. And then I do want to incant up here, because obviously... I could shoot something downstairs. <laughs> that bottom floor is horrifying. Tough. I'm going to shoot upstairs, because I think the incants are more valuable than the alternative options. Now, I have four days locked in on the boss right now, which is good. I'm looking for a drip fall. Yeah, baby, drip chains. Get out of there. I don't want to look at them anymore. It's a really good ice storm upstairs. Incredible. I'm going to Titan's Tooth middle because it does great work here and it kills something. That's so much value, it's hard to skip. And then we incant upstairs, which we have and got it. Good. Every little incant will matter here. I'm looking for drip falls. Next drip fall is going to be played on... I see it next turn, and I just drop the bosses a bunch, I think. This is going to be good. Resin removal. Ooh, uh, hmm. Draw first. Yes. Okay, we see the drip, actually. This is really good. I'm going to play one drip on chains. Okay. Now, ain't... Look at this. Split anvil. It's going to do it. You resin removal first, okay? So that way I can hit properly with my Ancient Synergy and pop two, which makes the other drip fall playable. I'm gonna consider killing the mini boss. How much do I do? 210, 117. I need to run some math on this. So let me pop out ye old phone real fast. And let's see. So we're looking at 210 plus 117. Yeah, don't don't rely on your brain sometimes. We have a 113, a 123, and a 65. I'm looking at 628 damage on the floor. My upcoming draws are a subsuming blade, which will hit for 48 times 3, which is 96 plus 4 plus 140. 154, 144, so plus 144, I could do 772 damage. Man, that is so close to killing this guy. I mean, then I would leak the back, too. Honestly, I think I'm just going to kick him. I, I, I'm going to draw into an answer here, right? I'm not that worried. Behold my big siren. She keeps coming back. Maybe she'll eventually kill something. We days upstairs still. Cool. I think we'll get through this combat. If I see one more set of days, we don't even have to look at the bosses anymore. There's a world I have to fight all of them, right? 
draw first. Okay, Ancient Synergy. I see you. Drop Purifying Cleanse here. I'm going to Ancient Synergy first here. Is there a world I see none of them? They could be both my bottom decks, and if so, I get an offering token. I can at least send one off the floor, no matter what. Okay, that's that's good to know. We Ancient Synergy for the power of Split Anvil. A Flash Freeze up here. We are just gonna take these. My draws, I have a Piercing coming up, so I don't have to do anything fancy. I think, I, oh no, they both got, that's terrible. They both are left undazed. I have to shoot one of these Curse Boys. Oh, no, I can actually just daze downstairs. And it hits both of them? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll daze downstairs. That hits both of them. I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to Subsuming Blade Chains, actually. What's coming up? There's a Titan's Tooth. Yeah, I'm going to Subsuming Blade Chains because it's safe. That's 144. I can now take the re Resin Removal Incant up top. And I will give up a daze on the boss to daze the curse friends downstairs. And now I have the maximum chance of hitting the drip falls. This looks bad because guess what? I'm fighting mini bosses that I really don't want to be fighting. So let's just remove them from the floor and make this floor so much stronger. Offering token. Hey, we didn't see the Titan's tooth. What gives? That's okay. I will just drip. I mean, I'm going to drip the boss because 21 to the floor is pretty scary here, I think. Yeah, he scares me, it turns out. That's a good pick. I'll Ice Storm here, maybe a kill something. Incredible. And then we daze one more time. And this is actually the best we're going to get. We'll take it, right? We'll take these. It is a win in my book. It's not a very clean win. Like, we don't crunch it was a little bit of work but we took 10 and that's actually really good all things considered so you know what sure we take these uh, i'm pretty happy with that run it's it was not easy i agree but i think we did a lot better than one hp scraping out of the divinity so that's good at least how do we do on score 52 sure maybe that's better than other people hit the challenge yeah, someone got 59. Let me guess. Who is this? I think I know. Yeah, of course it is. What did we do? I mean, 270 shards. Okay. Very similar run otherwise. I guess the spike was the big play here. Yeah, true. I'm going to assume that this was like a self-infuse everything and then burn it out. Just take a bunch of stuff. I don't know, the run looks very similar, though. Just kind of clicked everything instead. That's wild. I guess there was, like, just went all in on Drip and then hope for the best on spell damage. I mean, it doesn't look that convincing. Obviously, it wins, though. It takes very little damage overall. So... Uh, I mean, fair enough. Oh, a Iron Drop Cage. I don't know. Just go to that and see that. That's really strong. Okay, that, that changes everything. Iron Drop Cage means you, your Drip Falls now fully become weaponized in the three days each, and you can just redraw them quickly. Yeah, pretty cool, actually. Run looks extremely similar, though. I don't know. It's not that crazy. Nothing really to say there. Who's our submitter? King Richard the Lionheart. Let's see, Gabriel got a win, too. Sure, seems good. Ooh, interesting. That's a Wingmaker play, huh? Well, actually, with Hef. <laughs> what? So Hef was the scale? Holdover on the Dripfall? Got the drop cage. Maybe this was in the final? Interesting. Maybe this was in the final... Horde. Right, I was trying to think of the word. Final Horde, yeah. Let's see, this is a very similar pickup to me, right? This run looks extremely similar to mine. Yeah, just a bunch of minus ones, some upgrades. Holdover on the Crypt Builder is kind of an interesting pickup. That's pretty good, though. I'll take it. Sure, sure, sure. That's okay. Frenzied Swarm. Seems okay. I mean, they're very similar. Three dudes. Bunch of spell damage. Seems good. Oh, man, the Flicker's Licker. That's kind of a nice pickup. 
Let's see. Submitter, maybe? Yeah, submitter. Okay. Submitter struggled. Let's see. 32 damage taken, 31 damage taken. I see it. Oh, they saw a shark. I'm jealous. Where's my shark? I wish I saw a shark. That's okay. We get we get through it. I think, what do we got here? Wickless Baron Infusion? Yeah, that's not great. Endless Shark is good. Probably could have benefited from a self-infuse. The dupe and infuse. Maybe didn't get the option to do it. Wingmaker pickup. Wingmaker is not a bad card here, admittedly. But it's hard to give up on the minus one space, truly. So, there's that. Yeah, there's that. I think that's pretty cool. Otherwise, not much really to add here. I think the big me mention is one... Get rid of give up on Wingmaker. It's not bad, but I think the minus one space is better. And then to Baron Infusion, that's gotta be wrong, right? I don't see a world where you click the Baron here and feel good about it. Because how much are you actually harvesting on this floor, right? By the time you're harvesting enemies, you're now struggling because you've had to wait so long to get ramped up. I don't see that here. I don't see that working. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's interesting. I mean, everyone kind of held over something different. We do. I think Ebel here is the closest run to mine because you've got Holdover Frenzied Swarm and a bunch of Sirens. Gabriel did something whack with Hef. Decided to go in on the Wingmaker at six damage. Interesting. Let's see, what else was the big change here? I mean, besides the fact that Heart just clicks literally everything in the run and just Heart sends it and wins anyway. I, I don't know. I, I I I hate saying this. This is a re he's an extremely good player, one of the best in the game, but this is not how a person should play this run. This is extremely risky and is most likely in a vast majority of cases, unless you are specifically this person, going to get you killed and you will regret it. So I would not follow this suit here uh, at all. It's obviously, I mean, hey, 59K, you got the highest score on the run. Score doesn't mean anything, in my opinion. You wanna win the run or do you wanna lose the run is really the question you've gotta ask. Now, obviously, if you can flex a bit and get the highest score and win sure okay you can you can be a rock star that's true but i would not recommend going this ham here we were not that strong like we're not bad but you saw that turn one on the divinity right i was thinking hmm i can't actually play my last siren here because it's too risky i could just lose my sirens entirely that's really risky at 270 shards, that one swing wipes my entire floor. The only reason this works, actually, is because he has opted for a plus 25 here instead of the Incant Armor 2. But again, I think that is a mistake if you were not planning from Ring 2 to disrespect this hard, right? This is this is a decision I made on Ring 2, and that Incant Armor 2 is a for sure a correct choice in almost all circumstances. But if you know you're going to fight the Divinity at 270 or something like that, then yeah, okay, the extra plus 25 is better because it's front-loaded. Very risky. Very cool, but very risky. Would not recommend. I think we did something a lot more safe. I think this is probably the safest way you can approach this run, in truth. We went to 150, which maybe shows you blank pages or the Shard of Divinity, which can theoretically help a ton on the Divinity. We take four Sirens because they are just the best things for me to play. It's fine. Man, I'm really sad I didn't see the Iron Drop Cage. It's almost certainly in that last horde I didn't click. But if you click that horde and see it, then ooh baby. I mean, you saw how good my dazes were otherwise. That would have been nice. It's hard to predict though, right? It also could have been Founding Seal, right? And then obviously that's crazy strong too. But you have to weigh it against how strong you actually are. And just looking at my turn one on the Divinity wasn't actually that strong. So we load it up. We have four Sirens. We try our best to play anything that's useful. This Purifying Cleanse ended up being real rough. Not a big fan of it. I kept it around because removing too many cards into Diligent is too risky. You saw how few cards we were getting at towards the end there. I still needed to incant to beat him. 
So just things to be mindful of. But beyond that, I think all the picks were okay. And I think the purifying cleanse at the time made some sense because it could have gone another direction, right? We weren't sure. And that's just important to keep in mind. I like playing a little more flexible. I like playing with win cons that are versatile and able to take on multiple approaches. Because what if, what if instead we saw the one siren, we didn't get that, whatever it is, we didn't get the Hef's Consolation, we got something else, I don't know. Let me think about this, you get Dante there, okay? If you get Dante there, you pivot to Dante, you take him because you're fine with it, you see the Paraffin Enforcer, you go, hey, I can win with that. And now you're thinking, baby, isn't it a great thing I took this Purifying Cleanse? It's things like that that you need to be watchful for. There are just so many possibilities, and this is a very low opportunity cost, even if it ended up hurting me here. It's just a card I'm glad to have. Let's see, otherwise, nothing particularly remarkable to say. I will say, Titan's Tooth, high performer here. This Tenon Piercing Titan's Tooth, better than it looks. Just really good card. I, I take this a lot if I have the discards to support it. And obviously, you know, Frenzied Swarm gets us there. We take that. It works out. This was clearing waves for me. Love that. Love that. Especially in with the missing uh, Titan Sentry. You know, we didn't see him. So fair enough. I don't think I have terribly much else to report here. I've kind of talked through the other person, other people's runs here a bit. I think I've already given my points, so I'll leave it at that. Uh, that does bring us up to 25 wins on the series. You'll love to see it, and I'll leave you there. So, hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.